that that's real interesting the elimination diet um i i know a lot of people are doing uh for instance like a like a carnivore diet for instance and are seeing results with it and i you know um actually i hear joe rogan say this a lot and i don't go to joe rogan for my health advice but he actually he actually frames this in a very interesting way he's like well maybe the carnivore diet is working for so many people because it actually is an elimination diet considering how many problems people have with things like grains and sugar and certain carbohydrates not that i'm a zealot against carbohydrates it just so happens that so many problematic foods are carbohydrates my that my working theory has been that a, a lot of car, uh, people that get better on a carnivore diet, not just elimination diet, but it's also low FODMAP. Mm-hmm. And so the most common gut condition that I treat is SIBO. And a low FODMAP diet is basically avoiding highly fermentable foods. Mm-hmm. If you're mostly eating meat, you're not eating those highly fermentable foods. And so you're treating the SIBO without really knowing it. Um, Again, that's coming from somebody that that is really focused on the gut. But I, I actually really agree with that standpoint that, yeah, if you're going from a diet that's full of um, processed foods and all of this, and now you're just eating mostly meat, like, yeah, it's going to make sense that you're, you're going to feel better. Do you have any stance on things like um, histamine rich foods? Because, you know, I, I've, I haven't really dug into like how histamines work. Um, it seems very complex. And quite frankly, it seems like I'd have to give up a lot of the foods that I love uh, because I do think I eat a lot, a lot of high histamine foods, but um, a lot of high histamine foods are also considered health foods. So I'm wondering, you know, if this is a thing that you see a lot and how you address that. So. This, yeah, this is a really interesting topic to me because if you look at the low histamine diet, it looks very, very, very similar to the low FODMAP diet. And again, being a SIBO person, being a gut doctor, I and I've I've have friends that are nutritionists in the functional medicine world, and we've disagreed. And the for a while, I was like, the low histamine diet is just people with SIBO. Um, so when I have somebody that like looks like they might have a histamine issue i always like to test them for SIBO and frequently i have seen patients get better when we get rid of the SIBO and then they could eat the high histamine or the low or the high fodmap foods that being said i think it's been between three and five patients over the years they had an issue with histamines we also found SIBO we treated it they still couldn't tolerate the histamines. So it, I do think it's a thing. And I mean, there's, there's probably a genetic component to it. Um, it is what I've found is that, and then every person that that's, you know, got issues with histamine or FODMAPs, um, usually has a, you know, it doesn't exactly follow what every FODMAP diet says, low FODMAP or every histamine, like every, all of us are a little bit different. So I think that that's an area that um, in regular medicine that I I try to differ is like, once they start you on something, they never wanna get you off of it, right? It's just adding stuff, right? So, and with my patients, I always encourage them. I'm like, listen, let's try to, you know, introduce a high histamine food. Let's try to introduce FODMAPs. Let's see where you're at, because if we don't try, like, I don't wanna keep you like, you know, on this diet forever if we don't have to. So let's try. I mean, it always has to be the person has to be like mentally prepared um, and also understand the risk that like, hey, if you know, if I have this food again, I might get symptoms again. So um, I definitely think that there's people out there with a histamine issue. The best success that I've had is testing and treating them for SIBO. Um, And I think and there is like a small subclass of people that just don't respond to anything but a low histamine diet. But it's a small percentage. It's very, very rare in my experience.